How you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome inside my grow room. Sunday morning, about 60 days into the grow, and we've got some amazing cucumbers coming on. We've already got at least 10 to 12 of these full-size cucumbers off of the vines here. We could really let this continue to grow, let the side shoots come out, and it would be absolutely amazing. We could have cucumber after cucumber after cucumber in here. However, I'm already getting bored with it. That's okay, though. I'm going to call this a very successful grow. I want to look at a few things. Um, for one thing, let's take a look at those roots that are growing in this little 10-gallon tub here. See what's going on. In addition, um, I am also going to start some other cucumbers, probably do some grow bag cucumbers type of thing, um, the kind that don't need pollination. So guys, settle down, settle down. Cucumbers aren't over. You guys worry way too much. We're going to do a little bit more. I want to have a couple of more cucumbers before summer kicks in, so we're going to get that going. We're also going to try something really new that I've never done before inside the old grow room here. Something cracky, something with a big reservoir and a big plant. A couple of big plants that we have started. What is it? Squash. Yellow squash. Crookneck squash. I've never grown squash inside before. And I have a whole bunch of reasons why I think it's an absolute fantastic idea, if it's successful, to grow squash inside as opposed to outside. But first, let's look at some stuff, okay? All right. Final harvest has been made. Let's take a look at them roots. Holy cow. What Look. the fertility going from those out? <laughs> Look at that root mass of four plants. That is incredible. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. We are definitely going to throw those roots out. We're going to throw those roots out, but that is one healthy, beautiful Plant. root mass. Just incredible. 10 gallon tote, guys. Awesome. a 16 gallon cement mixing tub 16 gallons of water we're going to use the general hydroponics three-part flora series here okay and we're going to go at a measured rate of one teaspoon per gallon so micro is at 16 teaspoons next let's go ahead right, i got my blue. mixing girl in here with the air stone mixing it up we've got the grow in now we're going with the bloom That should be about 16 teaspoons or so. I bet. You think so? Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Give it a slow turn. Okay. We'll Thank throw a little you. rapid start in there. What's that? Right. For the roots. For the roots. Just a little bit. And then we'll do a little floralicious for the flavor. Ooh, it changes color. Yup. Okay, and then we're going to hit it with a little bit of lemon juice because we know we're going to have to bring the pH down at some point here. So let's see, let that mix up. We'll take some readings. I mixed the lemon juice up. Alright, just took a sampling of the water. We're at 778 parts per million. I like that, that's good for where we're at in this part of the grow. Uh, but we're still at 7.1 on the pH, so let's go... A little more lemon juice. A little bit on that lemon juice. Takes a lot of lemon juice to bring down the pH. I know a lot of people yeah. uh, roll their eyes at lemon juice, uh, but we use it anyway, yeah. uh, as opposed to pH down. So let's swirl that up, take another right. measurement, see 5. if we're 9. ready. Really happy with that. Anywhere near 6, we're in the ballpark for proper plant nutrient uptake. Good with that. All right. And here's our specimens. Two, summer squash, yellow, crookneck. 
in incredibly dry pots here okay so we're going to kind of take them off rinse them off put them in some net pots and we're going to grow them in rock all right should be pretty cool Can I all right. get them? we've got our plant out of the cup got most of the dirt shook off and then we have three inch net pot some rocks in the bottom so let's just pop that in there Now let's fill in the interstice. That's the space between this and the plant. Interstice, interstice with rocks. And now the fun part. Raft is on top. We have our stone going. And now, can you gently, Miss Lady, set those right in there. Boom. Wonderful. Uh, Out with the cucumbers, in with the crookneck yellow summer squash. Floating raft. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Alright guys, and here we are, we're only about three weeks uh, later and that's it, and these things really took off. Uh, at the beginning, there was a little bit of a transplant shock, took them about a week to get over that. After that, man, these things just blew up. Uh, the last two weeks have just been incredible. The, the first leaf set got a little, little bit of transplant shock, a little bit of yellowing on it type of thing. But the new leaves on here, once these plants became acclimated to this type of growing environment, are just beautiful green. They're absolutely perfect. We've got some uh, females kicking on already. No male flowers to pollinate, and that's probably due to the fact that these things are just growing so fast in here that uh, the males weren't ready. But lots of buds coming on, man. Lots of buds, lots of fruit uh, kicking on, especially with this plant for some reason. This plant has... Uh, one, two, three, four, six, six squash on it already. <laughs> and we're only three weeks into it, man. So that's awesome. Just got to wait for some of these males to open up so I can do that pollination thing. Uh, this one's a little bit slower, but a ton, ton of uh, buds on it already. So this has uh, been really cool. Do I think um, this is going to be a successful grow? Absolutely. Will I come back and show you some harvest? Well, of course. Um, we're probably only about an inch of water down in this big reservoir here, and again, the raft is still floating, so do I think we can grow squash in a floating raft method? Absolutely. Yeah, this is, this is, this is a good deal here, right here. Um, have not done any nutrient changes to this point, just let these sit under some lights for 18 hours a day. Uh, and then it's also got the air stone in there, it's oxygen oxygenating the water because uh, you want that on floating raft systems, okay, so that the, the, the plants can get some, the roots can get some oxygen. So anyway, really uh, geeked about this. Let's come back in about a month or so on, on this grow. Um, really excited about it. I think this is a real cool method um, to do this. And, and again, why do I think it's cool? Because we're growing indoors where your chances of getting that powdery mildew, uh, pests, disease, slugs, insects, funguses, that type of stuff. I cannot grow squash outside where I live because powdery mildew just eats it up every, every time. Every time I cannot grow squash. So I think we're going to tweak this uh, based on how the grow ends up here and uh, maybe do a little summertime grow in here for some squash. Uh, growing maybe a little bit cheaper methods with the lights type of thing. So stay tuned for that as well. I think that's going to be really cool. Do all my squash inside this year. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Come back in about a month. We'll check out some harvest. We will be getting some squash out of this, I promise. But I just want to show you this this right here. I mean, these things are just they're, they're just blowing up. We're growing in a, in a raft type setup. Thanks guys. Bye. Like I wasn't going to give you a close-up of some squash porn. This right here, guys, squash porn. Mm. That's sexy, right? <laughs> Peace.